is Mitchell Evans from Mount Wellington in Auckland in the third position. And there's our first side of Nick Cassidy. Cassidy versus Evans, the two Kiwis up at the front. Defending there from Mitchell Evans. Little touch there from Nick Cassidy as he went by. Cassidy on the outside. Oh, Mitch Evans go! And over onto the back of Nick Cassidy. Disaster for Envision, disaster for Jaguar. Straight away, they were just fast. Mitchell Evans up into third. And here is the race leader at turn number one, Nicholas Cassidy. For most weekends growing up, we were um, main rivals. It was every race weekend that was coming up, it was going to be Nick or it was going to be Mitch. We definitely had a few coming together in Ingo cards. Battle for the lead between Cassidy and Evans. Um, Nick was really strong in go-karts. He won you know, multiple championships. I won a few but um, Nick was one of the guys to always beat. The second defeat of the weekend coming up for Mitchell Evans at the hands of Nick Cassidy, and this is the one that counts because it's worth $1,000 for the win. Life's changed a, a fair bit, but those days are quite unique to, to think of, of how, it's, how it's turned out. The reality is that there's many, many kids that would like to be where they are. I think it's really cool and amazing how like they've gone that far from karting. It's pretty cool that um, they started here in Auckland and it makes us proud as racing drivers. When I grow up, I want to be exactly like him, like Nick. Jaguar have made the bold move because they've taken on Nick Cassidy to come into that team. You know, I reached out to him and, and let him know at, at one point that it was an option and, and that's what I was considering and I think both of us were, were pretty excited. It's pretty crazy that we've gone on this journey, kind of diverged at, at one point when he we went to Japan and now we're back in the same category. Even even when he came to Formula E was, was quite crazy. Um, but now his teammates is, 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 uh, is quite a special story. It's not an acquaintance, it's a real friendship, right, that, that, that is forged over time and over experiences together. And they, they do get on really well. You know, Mitch was incredibly, um, incredibly, I would say, uh, motivated by the thought of, of Nick becoming his teammate and actually vice versa. One of the, the standout things for Nick was to be Mitch's teammate. You know, he really wanted to be in a Jaguar racing alongside Mitch. They are great mates. They they've obviously are very competitive against each other. They're in a competitive environment. Mitch, we want to swap with Nick if he's close enough to get some toe. Really, guys? Just, I want to trust you, bud. If you make me race, Nick, this is wrong. Can I do an attack and then I help him out again? And I'll give the place back for the finish. You guys didn't help me at all this race, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Cassidy going for the move then on the inside against his teammate and making it stick. There was actually absolutely nothing between myself and Nick. It's kind of been put together to try and again, a bit forced to try and make it out like that. Let's be honest, you listen to every driver radio up and down the pit lane and it's the same. There's always going to be pressure, there's always going to be um, anxiety coming across over the radio at times on, on decisions called. Here comes Mitch Evans sliding his way under braking, third goes through! But if you look at the result the team achieved, I think we've come out together the right way. 3-3, 3-3. 3-3, yeah. Uh, should be Mitch. I'm feeling a bit weird. Ultimately we've been just competing against each other since we were six years old and so nothing's really nothing's really changed. Um, we've got a responsibility to to bring home the best result possible for Jaguar. Um, I think what's spoken about too much is the friendship and what's not spoken enough about enough is the performance. Mitch has been super strong over a number of years so I feel lucky to, to be alongside him and ultimately yeah, I do believe that with this package and with him that we can um, achieve some great things. To see Nick or Mitch win what is one of the most competitive championships in the world, it would mean so much to the motorsport community in New Zealand. What we are most excited by now though is we have two drivers who are absolutely at the top of their game in Formula E and allowing us to fight for this world championship. Look we've had some great times together and obviously if we can achieve a championship with, with Jaguar that would probably top the list.